hi guys welcome to another video um so today we'll be working on a toyota tez this is the 1.32 e this is the four cylinder petrol these are the current correct timing marks on this vehicle so the problem with this vehicle is that it is running rough currently uh so we're checking if the spark plugs were connected because we know that the new spark plugs were fitted this is the information we got from the owner so what we're gonna do is we will verify the um, the concern basically this is we have to start the car and then see if we are having the problem that they complained about of which is rough idle right so as you guys could hear um the problem is there rough idle um quite a lot of tappet uh noise and the vehicle does not want to idle so you have to hold the pedal uh the accelerator pedal you know to sort of like keep revving the vehicle in order to get it running so first thing to do it is to basically start stripping we remove our intake so you're gonna take um the intake off all the lines off and then we will remove the stuff or the things the plugs the connection all your pipes that are attaching to the engine possibly in this one we will be removing the cylinder head but we will just strip to inspect and see what we can find first um in this um engine so what happens is normally you will break your you will break uh, your rockers, bending your valves, or yeah. So that's the what can happen. So we're just gonna check and see if we will find that in this car. So the history on this car, what happened was the timing belt broke. Breaking the timing belt, they replaced the timing belt and fit another timing belt. Sometimes with these vehicles, when you fit another timing belt is the engine will come right so you can start your vehicle and carry on driving with no issues but this wasn't the case in this vehicle so hence why we are now stripping this vehicle and seeing to in order to check what we will find so we've got our intake removed we've got our fuel lines removed your feed and your return line we've got that removed you removed the ht leads um, we are now removing the the the, the exhaust manifold um, it's much easier to remove from here and then we will basically remove as i've mentioned all the pipes your when i say pipes is your fuel lines your coolant lines as well and the wiring plugs and and, and, and connectors so in in, in 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 this case here we um i'm using my um 14 ratchet spanner to undo the exhaust bolts and then uh, we will then proceed to removing the next item basically it would be to undo our crank bolt there we simply lock the crank and then we undo the crank bolts uh, once the uh, crank bolt is uh, loosened loosened and then we will then next step will be to remove our accessory belt this is your alternator belt um, by loosening your alternator then you can get the belts out remove the crank pulley after the crank pulley is removed we remove the timing cover from there we can access our timing belt timing belt some people call it the rib belt some people call it the cam belt it's basically the does the same job so what it does is it that's how your valves know when to open and close in order to get the vehicle running right. So this is the current max, as you can see, correct timing max on your engine. And then we loosen the, the cam 
pulley bolt um, as well and then we're gonna next step would be to loosen our timing belt tensioner in order to get our timing belt off uh, on the car so we'll be loosening our um, distributor bolts as well as with that will be coming off and then we're gonna do our timing cover as well we're gonna undo our timing cover nuts we're gonna get it removed in order to see what is happening inside of this vehicle so we got the timing cover off as you can see uh, if you look now we found some broken pieces so these are our these are our rockers so they're supposed to um basically help to open and close our um, valves we got those broken we got about three broken and we managed to recover those pieces uh, luckily they were still on top of the cylinder head and then we also find that found that our um, cam caps are also broken so those will also be replaced as well so now we're gonna step the, the cylinder head further in order to uh, check if the valves were broken in this case we found that we do have some uh, bent valves so the cylinder head will be sent to the engineers to get done properly uh, so here we are undoing the cam cap bolts when you're undoing your cam cap, cam cap bolts it is advisable to undo them one at a time don't take them off like don't remove the bolt one time just undo them in stages in order to avoid breaking your your camshaft um yeah so it is advisable to do that now we're removing the distributor get the distributor off and then our next step here it will be to remove the cam the cam actual camshaft so here uh before you take out the camshaft we're gonna remove our uh, fuel pump held by two two nuts so we're gonna simply undo that uh, get it uh, unstuck from the cylinder head um it's held by a silicone there so we're gonna use that i mean we're gonna remove uh, that from the vehicle it just needs a little bit of uh, persuasion so we're gonna use a screwdriver for that and then here i am removing the bolt for your um, camshaft caps then you're gonna take out the camshaft that's how we, then you're gonna get up take out its uh, camshaft next step undo your head bolts uh once we've got that undone then we will be able to have our cylinder head removed and ready for the engineers as you can see here this is our cylinder head ready to be sent for to the engineers thank you guys for watching please please like and subscribe to my videos i will get you more videos thank you bye